Hi guys, it's Desiree. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to season one, episode two of WandaVision, and the title of this episode is No, it's starting to go away. The title of this episode is Don't Touch That Dial. Now, I am really excited. I did not realize how quick these episodes are gonna go by. I just watched the first episode not even a minute ago. Um, and now that I'm looking at the time, it was only 29 minutes, and this one is 36 minutes. So, I'm really, really excited, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be our last black and white episode, and then we're going to be moving into color, which is awesome, because I don't care for black and white. Um, I'm not going to talk much about the first episode, because I kind of said my opinions on that reaction, but one thing I forgot to mention is how the episode ended, um where somebody is like essentially watching Wanda and Vision as if it's a TV show so it's like us watching a TV show in a TV show and I love those types of things but also it does get to get confusing I'm really excited to start this episode um and as you guys know I am doing a binge so you will probably see me in the same outfit a lot and I feel like at some point within my binge, I'll probably end up moving to my bed so that I can be more comfortable. But let's get into it. <laughs> Um, the couple don't sleep in the same bed. They had two, like, twin beds. And I remember, like, it was, like, a huge thing at that time when a couple, like, was in one bed together. So, let's get excited. Ooh, we got a new theme song. These are the best chocolates in the entire world. Lint. It was like Wanda was controlling them, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my God, Black Panther. I'm going to cry every time I see him. Hold up. Yes, dear. Are you using your powers to turn on the light? What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. That's all? <laughs> uh, one of us should really determine the source of that sound. Yes, one of us should. <laughs> this is better, isn't it? Mm. Ah! What is that? Told you. Yes, dear. Get the light. Oh! Oh, new theme song! <gasps> I heard this one on TikTok! Okay, so quickly, one thing I noticed about the theme songs is I love how the credits, it says Wanda, like, you know, Wanda Maxima and Vision instead of saying the actual actor's real names. So, like, it really gives off the somebody's watching this on a TV. You know what I'm saying? Calling us a cue. Did you say cabinet of mystery? I said the cabinet of mysteries. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, that's my cue. Darling, the talent show fundraiser is the most important event of the season, and it's our neighborly duty to participate. Plus, it's our chance to appear as normal as possible while doing so. Well, I don't think that should be a problem. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of, like, small town Gilmore Girls. Like, um, I say Gilmore Girls because Gilmore Girls is, like, small town. And they did, like, the, um, did they do a talent show? I know they did, like, a recital for the dance. Yeah, they had, like, little, like, you know, recitals in town. I don't know, balls and crap like that. So that's what this is reminding me of. Like little small town, um, you know, like events that everybody goes to. Ooh, there's color. Is that red and like gold? I freaking. Wait, aren't those vision colors? I kind of like how they did that. Dottie is the key to everything in this town country club memberships, parties. School admissions. Well, that's not going to handle ourselves. I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Can I just say, black people look good in everything. Bruh, are you kidding me? It's black and white. And she looks amazing. I don't even have to see her outfit in color and I can just tell you she looks amazing. I 
I'm starting to feel that way myself. I'm Wanda. I'm, uh, Geraldine. Hi. Geraldine. I'm irritated. Sand. Oh, Sandra Dean. That's what I said. That sounds like. Is anybody doing this sober? <laughs> I like Agnes. She keeps it real. Now, listen up. I got some top secret intelligence for you. Why don't you just be like gossip? Now, you know how Johnson's been bragging about that treehouse and built for his kid? Yeah. It's a pretty fab, Johnson. <laughs> Who knew you were such a funny guy? And to think you came here all hot and bothered about protocols and nonsense. <laughs> we actually thought you were serious. <laughs> Does that like mess up his um oh my foot's falling asleep? Like his like system. I've heard things about you. Like what? You and your husband. Well, I don't know what you have been told. But I assure you, I don't mean anyone any harm. Who are you? Y'all, it's getting juicy. Who is trying to contact Wanda through the radio? Oh, don't touch that dial. What is... Oh, who is doing this to you? Daddy! Strucker, he'll make time for you. <gasps> Hold on. That says Strucker. Swiss made. Hydra. 1000 M. We don't like that name. And the time is not moving. I don't know how to read a standard clock. All right, so I didn't realize it until I was watching this back while editing, but the name of the watch is Strucker, and I don't know how it connects, but I do know that it connects. So can somebody like please explain like Wanda's family history? I think I mentioned it like in later reactions, but this is coming out first. So, there was a show on Fox called The Gifted. I'm looking at, like, I have it pulled up on my computer. Um, all the episodes are on Hulu if you want to watch it. It was so good, and it got canceled right when it was, like, picking up, picking up again. Um, oh, my God. And now that I'm thinking about it, like, they left us on a crazy cliffhanger and everything. Oh, I can't get too much into it. I'm going to get sad. But, basically, I do know that the character Polaris... Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's somehow connected to Wanda through, like, family lineage or something like that. I don't know. Like, I've seen edits of, like, her with Wanda and Petro. If you guys know, like, the history, please comment down below. I really, really want to know. But Strucker is the name of the main family that we follow in the TV show. So it just now hit me that that's the name so if you guys know that there's like if there's any connection to like the gifted like the strucker family um polaris please comment in the comments i will definitely be watching because i want to know more about like the family aspect of like the marvel universe because i don't read the comics i'm sorry i don't plan on reading the comics i there's like a bajillion of comics um but yeah let me know <laughs> glad i don't have to follow this guy <laughs> oh but you're gonna be great uh, is that him <gasps> well it looks like he's got a little hitch in his giddy up Whoa. <sighs> you mean to tell me that the gum or food in itself is making him like drunk i want to thank you all for coming out to support Westview Hold on. It says it's a talent show for the children, but where are the children? I just see adults in the ground. Hello, Westview! Good afternoon! It's so lovely to meet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Oh, oh. <laughs> if only you all knew our secret. Oh, oh, oh. 
The bunny, watch me the bunny. He said, oh, oh yes. <laughs> Before Dottie and the planning committee string us up for ruining the show. On behalf of the planning committee, we would like to award you with the inaugural comedy performance of the year. <laughs> Thank you. Aw, look at you. Look at I love her. How'd you do it? Oh, but she should never reveal her secrets. He leaves that to his assistant. And she is not talking. I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> For the children that aren't there. Well, I think the children might need some popcorn. Well, Hmm, what? Vision? <gasps> what? <laughs> Quickly. If Vision was still alive, would they even be able to produce children? Like, he's a robot. You know what I'm saying? Just a question. Wonder. Is that like a beekeeper? So pretty in color. Wanda. Who's doing this to you, Wanda? Wanda? Okay, so that was episode two. Uh, I thought that was actually a really funny episode. I like how because he chewed like and swallowed gum or food, that like it kind of like makes him like drunk, I guess you could say. I thought that was really smart. Um that ending the ending was really interesting because she went back in time and redid that moment over so that kind of showing that she's like controlling what's happening but not even just that how is she going to explain to the town and the residents how she's pregnant they literally just saw her that night and or that day and she didn't have any stomach and she's gonna come out tomorrow and be like already pregnant you know what I'm saying so that'll be interesting um I'm gonna go because my my memory card is filling up and I have to like switch it out try to find a new one to use but I'll be watching the third episode in a little bit so I'm really excited I'm looking at the thumbnails and I see that they're bringing Jimmy Woo in from freaking Ant-Man and I love Ant-Man so I've like even before like getting into the Marvel movies and everything I've always heard people say that like Ant-Man is so underappreciated and it really is like hello Scott Lang everything about it's funny it's awesome who wouldn't want to be able to get super small and super big anyways it's when we decided to see Jimmy Woo back and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. And